course, wheels are up. We touch the water, the probes are down already when we touch the, the water. Water comes in, about 12, 13 seconds. You take about 14,000 pounds of water, which is represent about 1,500 After 12 seconds, it takes about less than that to fill up the plane with water. Then you accelerate, and then you go. You go over the fire, and this is where you have to realize these doors, the four doors you see, are totally closed. So when you reach the target, we have to go to a certain speed, you know, certain altitude, and we can choose in the cockpit if you want to open the four doors at once, or you can also do one at a time, so it will make more like a line. But if you open them, you know, all at once, it's more like a big pack of water that comes down. Depends also how high you are, the water will react differently. The higher you are, the water may kind of break up with the wind, so it's going to make more like a rain. Uh, but of course, if you're lower, it's going to make like a, you know, more like it's going to be more like a, I wouldn't say violent, but more water than one spot. So we can play with that in the cockpit. Most of the time, we use four doors at once. So you drop the water, the door closes automatically, you go back to the nearest can be the ocean, a pond, or lake, whatever, and we proceed like this. And uh, with the fuel that we have, when we go on the mission, we're good for about four hours. And we've seen in the past going in the past going like up to a hundred and something drops in one mission. So, but the lake has to be close to the target and everything. When you, drop, when you drop the water, how many basically how many feet deep do you get out of it? Again, it depends how high you are. Like I said, if you're pretty high, the water's going to break in one patch and it's going gonna, gonna to spread around like this. It's going to make like a heavy rain. You can cover like uh, two or three hundred feet for sure. But your radius is like a teardrop. Refuel time? You mean the gas or the water? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's quick. Very quick. It's quick. It's like a high pressurized uh, mechanism. You just plug. 15, 20 minutes. And they can do it here? Yeah. Any airport has that little thing. How long did it take you from your home base to here? Two hours. Or two hours. About two hours? Two, uh, well, we had to skip Boston, but right. this goes about 185 knots. So you go times 1.2 per month. Gives you yeah. miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah. This is the cruise piece. When we... Um, when we pick up water, because of the weight, of course, you reach the gross weight, so which is uh, 47,000 pounds with the water. This is the maximum takeoff weight with water. Um, this is one of the good thing about the plane. It's still quick. Even if you're loaded, it's kind of a big truck. It's made to work, pick up water, and go, and it's quick. No, but really, this is something because it makes some noise also, because it, the wind, the, the, the drop creates like a wind, like a draft. I would say if I go really, really low and right on you, uh, I mean, you have to kind of cover yourself. You may, it's not going to kill you. You may get wet for sure. But it's more like the sound and the plane coming at you that's it's more scary than the, the water itself. Uh, but people were, were told sometimes because of the wind, you missed it, and the wind kind of moved the, you know, the load sideways and hit the crew. They just turn around, they just get wet and keep going. It's, it's nothing major.